Hello everyone, my name is Cheryl. I'm currently a master's student in University College Dublin and I'm studying biopharmaceutical engineering. And today, we will bring you on a tour around Dublin. So the first part of our tour today in beautiful Dublin would be the Book of Kel. The Long Room is home to over 300,000 of Trinity's most ancient books. Every corner of the 65-meter long vaulted chamber is filled with books and history, with dark oak beams produced by generations of master craftsmen. The library is also home to the Brian Boru Harp, which is the national symbol of Ireland. A copy of the 1916 Proclamation of the Irish Republic and the Book of Kells. The Long Room has also served inspiration for many of our beloved films, one of them including Harry Potter. And now for the second part of our tour, we're here in the heart of the Georgian Dublin to visit the National Gallery of Ireland. Let's go! This gallery houses many of the Irish paintings and many European artworks as well. This is a free museum for anyone to enjoy. And even if you're not an art lover or aficionado, there are free audio guides for you at the entrance. You just gotta scan the QR code and you can enjoy all the paintings and sculptures here in the National Gallery. So let's take a look. The National Gallery of Ireland's collection has about 14,000 artworks, including 2,500 oil paintings, 5,000 drawings, 5,000 prints, and some sculptures, furniture, and other works of art. Come on down and see it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed all the art pieces in National Gallery of Ireland because now we're bringing you to the National Museum of Ireland. The National Museum of Ireland has four divisions, and today we're bringing you to the archaeology one. So let's go and see what they have in store for us. The National Museum of Ireland has four divisions, namely archaeology, decorative arts and history, country life, and natural history. The archaeology division has displays on prehistoric Ireland, including early works in gold, church treasures, and objects from Viking and medieval periods. And there are also special displays of items from Egypt, Cyprus, and the Roman world. So I'm now here at O'Connell Street, and behind me here is the GPO Museum. GPO stands for General Post Office, and this museum right here is a permanent attraction for visitors like you and me to go in and learn about the 1916 Easter Rising. The iconic GPO building is the headquarters of the post office in Ireland, as well as being an enduring symbol of freedom and a place of commemoration. The GPO was the communications hub of Ireland and headquarters of the men and women who took part in the 1916 Easter Rising. The historic and tumultuous Easter Rising set into motion an unstoppable chain of events, which would ultimately lead to the creation of the Irish Republic. So we are now here in Grafton Street, which is one of the busiest shopping districts here in Dublin. And also, it is home to Bewley's Cafe. Bewley's Grafton Street became a hub of the literary, cultural, artistic, architectural and social life of Dublin. The cafe was frequented by Irish literary and artistic figures, including James Joyce, who actually mentioned this cafe in his book, Dubliners. So we have come to the end of our tour around beautiful Dublin and I hope that you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. If you did, please come along and view this beautiful country for yourself. Welcome to Ireland. Huaning Lai Dao, Ireland.